Hey, what's up y'all? It's your girl Sha. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a 10 month couch update and a couch cleaning. So if you want to see what I'm about to get into, keep watching. y'all from a different angle you know I'm gonna switch it up just a little bit today's video is going to be about my couch cleaning and a couch update so if you saw this video a couple months ago um, I just showed you guys my unboxing video of this couch that I really love but there are some pros and cons to it so we're gonna talk about that today one thing that I want to say before we hop into the video I think I want to say two things first thing being make sure you press that subscribe button your girl is coming with consistent content this year. So if you wanna see DC vlogs, hair updates, lifestyle vlogs, just anything, make sure you press the subscribe button and like and comment on this video of what you want to see more of on my channel. Second thing I want to say is please do not judge my hair in the cleaning part portion of this video. I was looking a little crusty and dusty. I had to clean my couch that day, so we move on. All right, so as I said, today's video is going to be about the pros and the cons of my glorious couch that I have had for almost a year now. It's going on 10 months, so I'm giving you guys a whole 10 month update about this couch. So let's start off with the positive things. So some pros, I wrote it down because you know I'm a rambler, but first pro, it is extremely comfortable. Like this couch, it's probably one of the most comfortable couches that I have ever sat on, slept on, chilled on, whatever you wanna say. It is one of the most comfortable couches that I have been on. Second thing, I love that it has this modern look with that comfort. Because as I mentioned in my last video, um, while I was couch searching, I noticed that there were a lot of couches that had that modern look. It was like really edgy, really cool, but they looked stiff and they looked like just so uncomfortable. And I personally love to like fall asleep on my couch or just like lounge out and watch good TV for a couple of hours. So I needed my couch to be comfortable. The third thing, third thing, I'm ready to go to Jamaica, y'all. My third thing is um, I'm glad that it came with pillows already. I kind of wish the pillows had like more color, but it is a cream couch. Um, so I'm glad that it came with pillows. It comes with six pillows and you can easily swap out the coverings on those pillows with any other covering that you want. I just haven't done that yet because I haven't felt inspired to do so. But one day, one day. The fourth thing is that when I do have visitors, which has been pretty often lately, it's maybe like once a month or once every two months or so, um, I have an air mattress, which I usually offer to them. Like one of my friends obviously sleeps on the bed with me, but if I have more than one visitor or like two visitors, it's either like you can sleep on this air mattress in the living room or you can sleep on the couch. And oftentimes they're like, oh, I'm good on the couch. Like it's perfectly fine because it's that comfortable. I fall asleep on the couch sometimes when I just don't make it to the bed or some nights I just prefer to and I'm like I'm gonna sleep on the couch today and I wake up totally fine like there are times where the middle part kind of opens up but I guess that that'll be in the con section um, because I can't get it to latch but we'll talk about that I forgot to bring this up later on so we're gonna talk about it right now but that little silver latch thing that you're about to see soon it just doesn't actually latch to the other side of the sofa so sometimes when you sink in the middle the sofa starts to spread and it's just very very annoying there those are my four pros i genuinely do like the couch now let's talk about the cons so my first con is that it is really really low i didn't realize how low it was until i started to like sit and have to get up and sit and have to get up i'm 5'9 for context it gets a little difficult when you are trying to stand up and i just like ugh. like it takes a lot of back strength and a lot of knee strength so I am trying to get used to getting up quickly in the couch, but it hasn't 
I have not been successful yet because it's so low. I did receive some comments under the last video that said you can pretty much like get these risers, these wooden risers for the couch. I'm considering that. I guess this is on to my second con. The portion of the sectional is too big for me. Okay, let me take that back. The couch itself is not a comfortable sectional because there's really only one side that you can sit on. This side right here is the side that I sit on most often because I like when my feet are on the floor. I don't know, just not have, I don't wanna be laid out all the time on the couch. There are most, most of the time I wanna like sit and kinda like lean over or something like that. So the sectional is just too big and I want to hire a seamstress. So if you know of anybody, let me know because I wanna hire a seamstress to like cut the, this part, this leg of the sectional off so that I am able to like move the chase away and only have like a three-seater couch. I know it might be difficult when visitors come to sleep, but I have an air mattress and they can sleep on that. I just really, I need that part to go. It's, it's prohibiting me from feeling comfortable on the couch. And this is probably just a me thing. It's prohibiting me from feeling comfortable on the couch and it's also too big for my space and that was on me for not properly measuring that. When you're on the sectional part, you can't really sit up on it. You have to like have your legs straight out, which is the purpose of that, but I just don't want it. I realize that I don't, I'm not a sectional gal or at least like a small sectional gal. I need more space on the couch that allows me to sit and then there's a part in case I want to lay down, but this is more so like, it's only this one side that you can sit on. Second thing, or is this the third? I don't know, but this is another con. Um, it gets dirty easily. Obviously it's a cream couch, so if you have children or you are just not very careful, you will get things onto the couch. I personally have gotten better. I wasn't like terrible, but there were times where I would fall asleep and still have my makeup on and I'd wake up and it's like, uh, oh my gosh. Luckily, you can remove the, the cushions from the covering and wash that and it, it goes away, but you just have to be mindful of that. The next thing is I think that the cushions are withering. Kind of goes back to my first point about it being, there only being one section that I can sit on, so I sit on that section a lot. And I'm realizing that they don't, I thought that they still make couches with feathers inside, but I don't think they do. So, and okay, that's environmentally friendly, yes. I just prefer the feathers because it just seems like it doesn't lose its shape as fast as these are. So I'm sure that I can find like foam to kind of fill it back up because there is one section that is a little, it's a little bit lower than the other section. But be mindful of like where you're sitting on the couch. The last con, and you'll see this later on in the video when I'm cleaning it, the big cushions are hard to put the covering back on. I need to invest in some sort of steamer. I need to invest in something because the way I struggled with the big cushion, I'm never taking that off again. I'm gonna have to get one of those vacuum steamers and clean it that way because when you take it off, it's easy to take it off, but when you're trying to put it back on by yourself, if you live with somebody, fine, do you? But if you're trying to put it back on by yourself, you're going to struggle. When my mom was here, she helped me. We still struggled, but we made it happen and it was easier because I had another body. But me by myself, I was sweating, I was crying, I like screamed and was like, oh my God. <laughs> it was just not easy to work with, so. Last thing I forgot to mention about the couch is it is so heavy, like so heavy. I don't know if that's a pro or a con, but <laughs> You know what, I'm gonna go with con because it's so hard to clean underneath because it's so heavy to do by myself and it's so big and my apartment is not that big for me to like have space to move it around. I am going to be moving in July, so I'm going to just consider the, the width of this couch and if I want to keep it um, or if I'm gonna sell it, I don't know. I like when my couch is dirty underneath, so it's really hard for me to get underneath this couch. 
but we're gonna make it work we're gonna make it work so those are my pros and cons now i want you guys to see me actually cleaning my couch so let's just go to that footage all right y'all so i'm gonna come on here and do a voiceover because i was doing a lot of chatting and i have no idea what i was talking about but as you can see i'm just removing the coverings from the pillows it's super easy i love the accessibility of the zippers there's pretty much a zipper for every single covering on the couch um even the ones that go in the back of you so i'm gonna go ahead and do that with all of them first this sectional part is the big dog like this is the one that is so difficult to put back on and i'm even struggling to remove it the one thing about this is like the foam pieces are bigger than the actual covering like slightly bigger so it's something that you have to push in that goes for the pillows and that goes for the larger cushions All right, so now I'm just going ahead and separating them. I washed the pillowcases first and then I washed the larger cushions only because I didn't have enough space. And I just washed it with regular detergent and fabric softener. And I just put it on the bulky cycle so that it can wash for about an hour. So typically after I wash these, I usually let them air dry for a full day, but I didn't feel like doing that today. So the next thing I do as it is washing, I'm just cleaning the bottom of the couch. What I want to invest in or just buy is a handheld vacuum to make this part a lot easier. Um, I just haven't gotten to doing so. So right now I'm taking it old school and just using my sweet old broom. And that section, as I mentioned, is heavy. So it is a little bit difficult for me to lift up and move. And I don't have a lot of space in my apartment to like place it somewhere. So we made it work. This last part, I just took some um, Resolve carpet and rug cleaner, sprayed it on the arms and the back and kind of just rubbed it in. These parts don't get extremely dirty. The arm rests probably get a little bit dirtier just in case like I have something in my hands or like I touch my face and my makeup rubs off on it. So I really like to make sure I rub that in forgot to get it on camera though <laughs> All right, so after those were pretty dry um, I went ahead and did all the pillows and the back pillows as well and now i'm gonna move on to a part that i'm a little bit scared of the bigger cushions the ones that you actually sit on so please bear with me so right here i'm doing the smaller cushion which was super easy to do because it's a regular square and i got it done just making sure that i pushed the foam in and kind of just used the the covering as a pillowcase so this part was not hard but as you can see it was slightly smaller so you have to go ahead and push the top in to make sure you're able to zip it properly and then you just start to zip i like to put like my finger underneath the zipper a little bit so it doesn't get caught in the cushion Okay, zipper facing the back. Okay. I just want y'all to see how big this one is. Like, it doesn't seem big on camera, but it's heavy. This whole couch is heavy. Okay, trust and believe. Everything is heavy. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do, I see the bottom. I'm going to tuck the bottom in first. So I'm just going to open this bad boy up. Okay, so this first part was not difficult. Like I just put in the sleeve um, at the little L part at the bottom and I was able to tuck it in. I thought I was going to be good. Okay, not bad. But now, her up in here. All right, let me get a seat. Whew. 
Okay, I figured it out. As you're zipping the big one, you have to hold the zipper. And I would come and grab you all, but it's gonna unzip. That's not a risk I'm willing to take right now. Okay, you see how this is even bigger than the than the cushion, I mean the covering, so I have to figure out how to stuff that in as well, which I'm gonna do right now. <gasps> you guys. Oh my, I'll be back. I can't do this with the pressure of the camera right now. Okay, I think we're back. I had to take off my shirt because your girl was hot. But I am now at the top part. I fixed the zipper situation that we had there. Um, I'm just gonna push the cushion in while also being mindful of the zipper. So just go slow. <sighs> take a deep breath. Okay, now I'm actually mad. Ah, oh my gosh, y'all. It took me like six tries. Seven times the charm. I learned that when you get to this point up here, you can't be aggressive. Like you have to literally do it as slowly as possible and not even push the cushion too much. But that, no, no, no. Here's the fin finished product. I know there's a lump here, but once I sit on it a little bit more, it'll go away. Woo, y'all, I am tired, okay? All right, y'all, so, yes. That is what it takes to clean this couch. Um, as you saw, I struggled with the bigger cushions. The pillows and stuff are easy to clean. Like if you need to do that on a weekly, bi-weekly basis, fine. But honestly, the big cushions, as I said, I'm getting a steamer. So some things to consider if you are considering this couch. Um, I know it's still on All Modern now. They might be sold out, but it is a little bit cheaper than when I got it 10 months ago. Um, but the 10 month update, I am planning on keeping this couch. I do want to make some um what's that word some alterations on my own and i will update you guys on that as well because the chase has to go it has to go it's just taking up too much space it's just so big thank you all so much for watching today's video i really hope you enjoyed it let me know if you have any questions about the couch um and i will hold myself accountable to updating y'all about my alterations so yeah until next time